Okay, we're going to uh, make a social media image with photos and text. And this lesson is uh, Adobe. Eric uh, Larson came up with the tutorial. And right here it says, learn to combine photos and shapes and text to create graphics that will stand out on social, I think on social media. We'll polish the design with a mask to make a photo pop. So let's look at this right here. We're gonna find this in the browse tutorials. And right here, we're gonna, I'm gonna put this on all categories and beginner. So we can see that. And it's in add text. And you could also search for it, make a social media image with photos and text and you'll see these sneakers right there. So click on that and let's see what we need to do so starting with this here uh we're going to create a circle to draw attention to the text that we're going to add later to the circle and so we need to use the ellipse tool so if you don't see the ellipse tool then you're going to right click right here not left click but right click and everything will just kind of come out so clicking on these three little dots right click on it will bring everything out and we can look for the ellipse tool, which is right there. Um, right there, that's the ellipse tool, okay? And the next, we're gonna make sure this is on shape, okay? So there's shape, path, or pixels. This needs to be on shape. And then that way, we'll be able to make a shape of a circle with that. So then we're gonna click next. I'm gonna bring this right here. And I'm gonna actually make this a little bit smaller because at some point, we're gonna go like that. Okay, so right here, we're gonna shift and drag. It says roughly one quarter the size of the orange square. So one quarter of this, and we're gonna start here. Let's see. Maybe like that. And okay. So we did that, we made the circle. Now we're going to click next. And it says double click the thumbnail for the ellipse one layer to open the color picker. So we're gonna change the color from white to something else. This is have, ha, here you can explore different colors for shape, choose a bright red and click okay. So we're gonna double click right here on this icon right here, it says ellipse one. Double click on that square. Then right here, if you want your bright colors, you go to the top here, to the edge, and I can come all the way over to the corner. That's like the brightest red right there. I'm gonna click okay. And so now that we have that bright red, that circle's bright red, we're gonna click next here. And now we're gonna uh, add some text to this, to this circle and style it. So right here, there we gonna, we're gonna click in here. I like to right click and it shows us two choices. It says we want the horizontal one. We don't want the vertical. Okay, so we're gonna click that. And now it says right here to make this 72. We can always change the size. So I'm gonna change this to 72. And then I'm gonna click uh, next. And it says, click outside the circle and type 25% off. When you're done typing the message, click the check mark in the options bar to commit the ta text. Click next. So we're gonna type it out here so we can see it clearly. So we're gonna write 25% off, which usually means uh, a serious uh, one there. So then we're gonna click this little check mark here and that's gonna complete that. And we can't really see the 25% very well because it happens to be right now over the, the white, but that's okay. So now we can click next, it says. And the next thing we're gonna do is use the characters option in the properties panel to change the font size, style, and color of the text. So I'll, I'll, I'm gonna actually come a little bit smaller I might reposition, do other things later, but let's just 
you know, it's whatever you need to do, but I'm going to say it's right 65. And then I'm going to, I can change all these around here. Let's try zero here. And it is white. If it wasn't white, we could change it to whatever color we want. But since it's going to go on that bright red, white is probably a good choice. So we're going to hit OK. If I want to change the, the text, I can change it to whatever I want. Um, you can, there we go. So I can change this so you can see what that that does there. And I, you know, you can pick one that looks cool. Try that one. And bring this back up here. Okay. So once we have that, it looks good. I'm happy with that. I'm going to go next, and I can always change that later. So, okay. So now we're going to click, select the ellipse layer one. So I'm going to click this one right there. And I'm going to use the move tool. And it says, drag the circle so it overlaps the toe of the top sneaker and hangs off the left edge of the yellow background. Click next. So right here, I'm going to kind of put it right in. I say right in there looks good. Okay. And then let's click next. And now select the 25% text layer. So right here, I'm going to click this one. Click next. Now drag the text inside the circle. Smart guides will appear to help you center the text inside the shape. Click next to continue. So let's move this right here. And you know, you can kind of tell when you're right in the middle, it just kind of locks into place there. So that looks good. Let's click next now. It says select the sneakers layer. So looking at this, I think we need to put the sneaker on top of that bright red. So we're going to first need to select the circle. I mean the, um, the sneakers. Now, depending on which layer you click, it will select from. So it's important that you have the right layer that you're selecting from. So I need to select the sneakers, okay? So I got to make sure I have the sneakers layer selected. So then up here, sneaker, uh, select, subject, and let's see if it gets it. Yep, it did a great job. Look at how well that did that. A lot of contrast on the edges, so it's able to select it very well. So now we can click Next. Now select the ellipse layer one. So we're now going to, this is important. So I have this layer now, the ellipse one, okay? I have that selected. Very important you right, select the right layer. And right here, I'm gonna select the, the uh, add layer mask. However, um, I'm gonna use the, the option key right here. It says, if, you're, if you have a Mac keyboard, use the option key okay or if you're that's the white keyboard i have otherwise it's alt if you're on the win windows uh so make sure you hit the right key i'm going to hold down options since i'm on a mac white keyboard and i'm going to select this if you're on a black keyboard you're going to hold down alt and select it and if you have trouble with this let me know okay so i can see what the issue is but right here i'm holding down the option key on the white keyboard holding down the the alt key on the black keyboard and then i'm going to select add layer mask and then that goes perfectly on top of that red circle giving a 3d dimensional kind of look right click next and there you go that is it okay and then you can save it so if you know that it looks perfect and you don't have to come back to it you can simply save it as a JPEG. If you're not sure, I would save it as a Photoshop file and a JPEG so that you can come back to it if you need to make an adjustment. Otherwise, you have to go through the adjustments again, you know, from the beginning. So I'm going to go File. Since I, I know I'm pretty good with this, I don't need to come back to it. I'm just going to save a copy. Save it on my computer. And I'm going to make sure I know where it's going. It says, and I'm going to label this Make a social media 
image and then I'm going to put my name on there because it helps uh, anybody be able to identify. But it's very important you do not take out the, the extension, the period and the extension when you're doing this. So now I'm going to change it to JPEG. But if I needed those layers, I'd leave it, save it first as a Photoshop file and then a JPEG. So now I, I need to know where it's going. It's going to download, save that. Quality of 8 is fine. Okay. And there you go. That's it.